is specifically for students who wants to pursue CB1 paper for September and November 2024 examination. For the past two, three terms, the institute has been saying uh, that they are going to conduct exams in objective uh, mode. But just before a uh, few months of the examination, they have uh, changed their decisions and they have conveyed that they will be continuing with uh, subjective and they will continue with this objective based examination in future. So it is highly expected that for September and November examination, uh, the CB papers that is for CB1 as well as CB2 uh, both uh, can be conducted in uh, objective uh, base that is MCQ. So why not we get ourselves ready? I don't know whether the institute is ready or not but we at actuators are ready for it. Recently we have developed our uh, new platform AEIQ forum and in this uh, platform you get all the relevant informations if you see a uh, CB1 so you have timetable you have relevant class notes which is study material we have a Q question answer forum where students can interact among themselves and they can post their doubts we have test bank in this test bank we have created MCQ platform wherein our students can solve MCQ on a daily basis. 130 days from here for September examination. Every day if I do 10 MCQs, my maths is strong, that comes to 1300 MCQs. If you see small, small steps, is counting to a bigger number 130 days 10 mcqs a day will lead to 1300 mcqs we have designed this platform in such a way you can filter uh, mcqs chapter wise like these are the chapters of cb1 right now let me give you a brief idea about the paper CB1. CB1 is business finance and CB2 is business economics. In CB2 we will be discussing about uh, micro and the macroeconomics. Those who are from commerce background they must be having in plus two economics as a subject. Even students of plus two from commerce background they also had accounting as a subject. But CB1 business finance covers few more topics which we uh, have not studied in our plus two level. So what is this uh, subject uh, CB1 all about? What are the course content for uh, CB1? If you see the curriculum for uh, CB1, first of all, uh, we'll be talking about corporate accounting how a uh, net profit of a corporation is calculated how balance sheet of a corporation is prepared it is not only pl and balance sheet which is relevant uh, uh, for communication to stakeholders my dear friends it is cash flow statement which is mandatory to be given to the stakeholders it is not only cash flow statement, there are more reports which we need to give to our stakeholders like auditor report, director's report, what are the accounting policies uh, uh, we have followed in uh, drafting the financial statements of the company. So CB1 is purely about corporate accounting, the profit and loss statement, the balance sheet, the cash flow. We will be also talking about some ratio analysis right further we will also talk about uh, how accounts of banking companies are drafted how accounts of insurance companies are drafted as you are studying actual science which generally uh, deals with insurance products right so how accounts of group companies are consolidated 
like we have holding and subsidiary also so this portion is completely 30 to 40 percent of the curriculum is related to accounting there are some portions which is catering the finance of the company like how to manage the finance of the organization in that we have uh, what are the sources through which you can raise finance what is the cost of uh, raising finance and where you can utilize those funds because these money is not free of cost it means through which sources you will borrow and where you will invest so these two deals with the finance of the company this is also there in your cb1 curriculum we have one topic uh, related to taxation how taxation laws are framed how individuals are taxed how corporates are taxed and we have few portions of uh, cost and management accounting as to uh, whenever uh, uh, whenever we plan something we make a budget and at the end we compare it with our actual result and we try to find out the difference that difference is known as variance analysis plus we have some topics here and there related to this cost and management accounting financial accounting uh, finance of the company so this is the entire curriculum for the paper cb1 what is most important in this paper is the concept if you are strong in concepts you will be able to do mcqs if you are strong in concept even if the ifo continues with the existing pattern which is subjective and bit of mcqs you will be able to do with that so let me just explain you the features of this particular mcq portal right you can you can select chapters like this and you can see the number of available questions right now if i select all it is showing 219 questions are getting uploaded in 10 15 days we the count will be around about 1000 right now the available is 219 but i want to attempt only 10 questions today i want to attempt only 10 so i'll create test so it is showing me i'll mark which of the following is legally responsible for commitment owned by a limited company to the company's lender suppose i mark this the answer is wrong so here they will also show you which is correct which is incorrect right like this i can flag if i think that i need to revise this question later on so there are so many features once you use it you will be accustomed with it right like this there will be explanations which is correct right and we finish it you can at the end they will show you what is your total time taken in order to do this 10 mcqs like this you can view your answers if i go back to this page suppose next day if i again want to solve 10 mcqs then i will change this category to unattempted so last year i attempted six questions so now it is showing me remaining 213 questions so again i will take 10 out of it or i want to solve today the incorrect ones the questions which i attempted incorrectly right so like this i can create uh, testlets every day either as a whole or chapter wise further <coughs> at the end of the curriculum i can solve mocks right now there are no mocks showing here we will create few mocks right you can solve those mocks if you see this mcq bank here you can see your progress report as to total number of mcqs how much you have attempted how much is flagged how much is correct your accuracy and all so you can see your progress report here so this particular exercise will help you uh, to get your concepts more clear right and the success rate will also be very high i hope 
you all will join us for the upcoming sessions which is starting from first week of may 2024 for september and november 2024 examinations thank you see you all in the class cheers